Hello again and welcome to Ndu Dubai Fafa. Thank you again for joining me on another exciting episode. And today on the menu, I've got the sesame encrusted yellowfin tuna. Yes. To that, I'd need 350 grams of the yellowfin tuna. You can get this from your local fishmongers as well. And it's best they cut it perfectly for you. Just choose the best part, as I did. Add a tablespoon of sesame seeds to um, a plate. And um, once your tuna's come to room temperature, um, just um, toss it in and actually encrust and cover it just the way I'm doing and just turn it around. And then the, um, the sesame seeds will stick to it perfectly. Now slice one large um, clove of garlic into little slithers and um, just lower the heat under your griddle pan at the stage because we are going to be frying the garlic in sesame oil. So add your sesame oil um, to the griddle pan. About two tablespoonfuls should do. Now add your garlic to the sesame oil and fry gently. This should be about 40 seconds. It will still be translucent and soft and just perfect. You do not want to burn your garlic, whatever you do, don't burn it. Keep an eye on it as well. Once the garlic is perfect, just remove it from the heat and set aside in a bowl for later. Um, just Sam um, cut your ginger into thin long strips into that sort of julienne shape and then we're going to fry that in the oil that we just fry the garlic in so the garlic has just infused its um, flavor into the oil and now the ginger is going to do the same now cook this still on the high heat um, because I want it to be crunchy on the outside um, but still moist on the inside and just um, toss the ginger in there and fry Gently till it's about, well, should take about two minutes, even if that. Here we have the garlic and crispy ginger. So I've just sliced one um, banana shallot and I'm going to fry it in the oil again. So the oil has got the garlic, it's got the ginger and now the onions. So this is perfect oil now for me to fry my tuna with. So with the sesame oil that's actually infused with the garlic, the ginger and the onion, I'm just going to add um, the sesame encrusted tuna to this. And I'm actually just going to fry it on a high heat for a minute on each side. Um, I do like my tuna pink and I know some people don't, but I think it's best when it's pink because it's soft, it's moist. Anything else is overdone and then it becomes tough and no, I don't think that would work for this recipe. But you can cook it to your preferred taste, but I will cook it on um, just for a minute on each side. Thank you. 
now my tuna is ready i'm actually just going to leave it to rest for about two minutes and i think i'm ready to slice and start assembling my salad this is exciting it's perfect and pink just the way i like it mm. For the soy sauce salad dressing, add two tablespoonful of soy sauce, one tablespoon of um, the sweet chili sauce, and some sesame oil, and mix well. Now for that little fishy taste, I'm just going to add a few drops of fish sauce to it which I think will be perfect. That would be like that secret ingredient that takes this salad dressing to the next level. And also, I'm gonna use half the garlic, um, the fried garlic, ginger, and the shallots, half of those. I'm gonna mix it with it. And then, I'm gonna be dressing it with the salad. I think this is gonna be beautiful. <laughs> So to a bowl, add your lamb's lettuce or your preferred salad, rocket, spinach, um, whatever you prefer. And to that, I've just add some chopped avocado and half the, the remaining half of the onions, ginger and garlic. And I've just sprinkled it over. I think this is beautiful. Look at that. How translucent that garlic is as well. <laughs> So to your bowl of salad, then layer your tuna strips, making sure that you've got the pinkness showing. So it just makes it colorful. And just sprinkle it with the salad dressing, with the ginger and garlic and that dressing all over it. Voila. Now this is a very impressive dish to impress your guest. Where's a dinner party? You better organize one. Yeah, it's been a pleasure. Thank you very much for joining me again on yet again another exciting episode. And I hope that you are inspired to actually make this dish. If you do, don't forget to leave a comment. Don't forget to share this. Let everybody know about Indudubai Fafa. Thank you. Bye.